Hey there, this is Frank Klesitz with Viral Marketing. And if you're watching this video, you're interested in our business sponsor project. And uh, in this video today, I want to show you that it's possible. And you can certainly, even as a brand new agent, new market, let me say that again, as a brand new real estate agent, a brand new market without any database, nothing, starting from scratch, that you can go to businesses that let's just say are off settlement statement. This is not mortgage. We're not talking about title. We're not talking about hitting up all the people for money that you're sending business to because we want to go down that route. I'm talking about painters and plumbers and uh, you know maybe local attorneys and a whole host of businesses that uh, you can bring value to. You can mastermind and bring together and talk about business and you can have them participate in your marketing with you to help them grow their business and you can raise some money that way. Not as something necessarily that you know is a separate business, but something just enough to help offset the checks that you have to write as a real estate agent if you want to just scale beyond straight prospecting. At some point, you might want to be able to hire an ISA to respond to leads. At some point, you may want to just send more direct mail. You may want to be able to hire viral marketing. I mean, there's lots of what you have to generate leads as a real estate agent, and that takes capital. And sometimes you don't want to take the risk yourself to write those checks from your own money. And I want to show you that it is possible. Please watch today. It is possible to raise money to zero cost your marketing expenses. Think about how much certainty that would bring you and to level the risk of all these fixed costs with the ups and downs of selling homes to have some money coming in that you're billing credit cards every single month to help zero cost your expenses so you can grow your business. So um, uh, Matt O'Neill today is in Charleston and uh, he's in, say hi, Matt. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Hey right. Frank, thanks for having me, man. Yep. So Matt sells a lot of houses uh, out in Charleston, but I don't want to, don't, I don't, his production level and how many homes he sells is completely irrelevant to what we're going to share today. Cause you could do this as a brand new agent or if you sell a lot of homes, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Um, and Matt went through the business sponsor project and he implemented everything that you would go through in this project with us and has results to share. And I want to interview him today for you as if you were asking him questions about how to do it and how it works. Okay. So let's start with the story. So Matt, you came to one of our mastermind events up in Whistler. We went skiing or you went skiing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I went, I went skiing. I actually met uh, HWA home warranty on a uh, snow cat ride to the top of the mountain. And we started getting money from them at the event. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. So, so here's the deal. So you saw a presentation at the mastermind meeting. Yep. Of someone who was getting some money from allied resources from local business owners to help zero cost the marketing expenses. And you said, I got to do that. Yeah. Number one takeaway from the mastermind. Why, why was that so important to you? And why did you feel you could do that? And why was your mind open that way? Why, why have you waited so long? I mean, how many years have you been selling real estate? 12 years. Why have you waited so long, 12 years to do it? Give me where you were at at the point to make that your one thing. You know, it, the asking people for money, I didn't know that we would, that we, what people would say yes, right? Exactly what we're talking about today. I didn't know that uh, we would provide enough value that people would want to keep sending us money. So I just felt my time was better spent selling more homes or building my team than going after vendors. Uh, and I didn't know if I would be able to have value for them that they would keep paying us. So that was the reason I never really pursued it. Okay. But you heard that there's a way to go about this. So Let's talk about in the course, what's the process? What should someone do to go about, what did you do? I think we'd talk about the process in the course, but what did you do to start this process of coming back from the meeting and saying, I want to start raising money from local businesses? What'd you do? I hired viral marketing to <laughs> go to that course. I, I took the course and I started taking notes and implementing uh, straight out of what you guys were saying. I literally followed step by step when uh, when you said, hey, let's build our list of vendors, we built a list of vendors. I did bring along um, my closing coordinator, Sue McGee, so that I had somebody else working on the project alongside of me because, as we know, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So having a second person on the project helped keep me accountable to pulling it off. But uh, we, we started to create our list of vendors. We started to invite them to a mastermind, and we started to ask for money, and they started to give it to us. Okay. So – Let's talk a little bit here about this whole mastermind concept. And I want you to imagine that a brand new agent that is just getting into real estate, you know, wants to get together a bunch of business owners to talk about business, which can be incredibly intimidating. 
However, the training you're exposed to and the ideas you're exposed to just as even a brand new real estate agent usually blows any marketing and sales training that for a local business out of the water. Right. right. Yeah. Why don't you tell me the concept behind starting a business mastermind to invite people to and to how that works? Yeah. It, so, um, when we just had our first mastermind lunch this month and I, I invited my home inspectors and, uh, home warranty movers, uh, lenders, and we all got together and had some lunch and it was amazing how much help that each one of these business owners needed that I had answers to help solve their problems. We, we've got uh, our home inspector is sitting here running circles, just trying to keep up with all the inspections. He told me he's working 14 hour days. He's like, I get up at 5 a.m. every day and I get to work. And he said, and then I'm laying in bed and I'm finishing up work and then I go to sleep. And he said, I've got a young family. And I said, man, you need an assistant. And he said, I don't know if I can afford an assistant. So I introduced him to virtual assistant program that we use and it's changing his life. And that was just from one lunch. Now it'd be crazy for that guy to not want to be on my vendor program anymore if I change his life for the better. And you didn't actually do anything for him. You just share with him and some insight. I was doing something for him. Well, no, but, you, but I'm saying it's not like you went and had to go run marketing for him or he actually did work. You, you just share with him insight and ideas and there was value just in the right. idea. Yeah. Yeah. He was really grateful. And hopefully he gets his life back because it's, he's not going to be able to keep living the way he is. So let me get this straight. So one of the first things we had you do is you, you come up with this, this, this plan of once a month, you're going to schedule a time, whether it's a breakfast in the morning or a lunch. Or yeah, we're doing, we're doing lunch. It's the, it's the third Wednesday of every month at one o'clock and it's the restaurant right next to my office. So it's really easy for me. Yeah. Right. So the goal is to invite some business owners there to have lunch and to exchange ideas, how to, uh, improve their businesses. So how did you go about coming up with your list of people you wanted to invite to that first meeting? I went off of the list that we created as a group and you, we had, um, I've, I've got it right here, roofers, financial advisors, flooring companies, remodel contractors, HVAC, plumbing, electricians, etc. And I just took that list and then we said, who do we know that's in those, that, that are in those fields, maybe people we've done business with, and we started there with people we already had relationships with. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where the first lunch uh, came together. Yeah, here's, here's what I got so far. So these are just some of the businesses that you could approach. Yeah. At. We talked right. about the course. We talked about their margins, their, their cost to acquire a customer that in many respects would love to come to your monthly business owner mastermind event. Yep. Okay. And, and, and especially if they know me then it's, uh, it's really easy for them to come and have some lunch with me. Mm -hmm. uh, for so, what it's worth. yeah, at that lunch, then I brought a list of all the people that we did have, and I said, hey, do you guys know people in these fields? Because we, and we need to fill those in. So I got referrals on, you know, 75% of the names I didn't have filled out. And so the next mastermind, I'm going to have, again, somebody that knows the people that are already at the lunch, and it's going to make it a lot easier to grow this group. That's awesome. Yeah. So you basically have this time set every single month to go walk across the street and have lunch. Yeah. And these business owners show up. Now, what makes this different from like some tips group or a B&I group or um, kind of like why are people showing up? How do you sell this and how do you conduct the lunch? I follow the, the Frank at viral marketing format for masterminds. Uh, you that's know, I just, is two, what is it? What's, what's two the questions? Question? I don't know if that's trademarked. Is that trademarked? No, it's not. Should be. Uh, should be. It's two questions. Uh, it's the, it's the I said, what, are, what are you excellent at? What are you the best in the world at? And so, and then what's your biggest challenge right now? Those were the two questions. I actually handed everybody this sheet of paper to fill out. This is one of my vendors papers and I had them do it while we were just bullshitting to put an answer down. And then I started with what I was best at and uh, shared about how I recruit. And then I talked about my biggest challenge and my biggest challenge was finding a new office space. And then they all gave ideas and then we just went right around the table and um, every single person participated and every single person got value back on their challenge. And in fact, um, people started to talk to me about recruiting because that was an issue other people had. And so from the strength section, uh, we started to connect members of that lunch too. 
That's great. So that was your first one? Yeah. Right? So that was your first meeting. You had how many people there? We had eight people. So you called up eight people that you knew in those industries that you currently do business with. Yeah, we invited, I think, 14. That's a pretty good conversion rate. The eight show up to some brand yeah. new idea with you. Sure. What did you say to them on the phone? Hey, man, uh, want to go to lunch with some other business owners that you don't know and let's talk? Like, what do you, what do you say? Yeah, I texted them. Okay. <laughs> and then I put them on a calendar invite. And then it showed up. Yeah. Well, I mean, all 14 confirmed they'd be there. And then, you know, but eight came. Work, work happens. And so like the day of, I had a lot of people saying that they couldn't make it because of such and such emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I was happy that we had eight. And, um, and I do feel I'm, I am going to call these other people for the next mastermind uh, for August. And because with the eight that came, they all gave you referrals to the industries you wanted in. Right. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Industries. I don't know the referrals. So I've got to call these next people. Um, and I'm going to use the referrer's name and say, Hey, Jason had said you'd be a perfect fit for this group. And I, and I'll tell you what, this group is just high level business leaders. And, um, we found that we get a lot of value from sharing ideas about how we best run our business so that I think that you get a lot of value if you came to lunch with us. That's going to be my pitch. So this is, this seems pretty straightforward. Just once a month, you get together a group of business owners, you exchange business ideas. Everyone goes around and says, hey, no ego, share something you're really good at and proud of that you know what you're doing in your business. And then tell us something that you really need help with. And that kind of sparks the, a guided conversation to help everyone out in the group. Yeah. So this is your way to build trust and to get appointments and to meet people one to, in a one-to-many situation. Yeah. One-to-one. -one. So now that you have these relationships, now we have to kind of show them that, hey, maybe would you like to participate in some marketing with me? So I'm assuming after you meet these individuals, you're going to bring them to like a one-on-one -on -one meeting and say, hey, outside this mastermind thing I put together, would you like to participate in some of my videos? Would you like to kind of test out working with me? Tell me how you plan to start kind of easing into a conversation about, uh, we'll get to, you know, kind of a formal money arrangement where they pay you for something. How are you going to include them in your marketing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I've, I've got a, I've got a sheet again that we, we just basically copied from you guys about, uh, it's got their credit card information at the bottom and at the top, it's got all the things that we will do for them if they sign up on the program. So after the lunch, it's immediately after lunch, I'm, I'm setting up one-on-one -on -one meetings with these guys mm -hmm. and I'm just going to present the sheet. I'm going to say, Hey, this is what we can do for you. This is that you'll be our exclusive vendor in this um, realm, whether it's, you know, you're our only flooring company. Uh, every single flooring need that, that our team encounters, we're going to send the business your way and you can keep coming to these lunches. And we're going to put you out to all of our past clients. We're going to let you come speak to all of our agents at our team training. It's all right on that sheet. And in, in exchange, it's a $500 a month uh, co-marketing fee that we use to grow our marketing, to grow our brand, to drive more business to us so that we can send more to you. And do you want to sign up? I like it. Uh, for those of you who are interested, you can go to our website and uh, under the how it works and you click monthly implementation. Um, what you're watching here is a very advanced version of what we kind of help you in the core program. So if you were to hire viral just for our core straight service, well, it's right here. It's two grand to build in 550 a month. And we recommend, look, it's not, it's very simple to find two businesses that will pitch in 275 a month each to help you zero cost monthly. And we kind of include that support and in helping guide you on that in the core program. What we're talking about with that is how do you raise a lot more money? <laughs> than just that and yeah. that's the project that Matt's gone through and we'll talk about how much he's raised here in a bit which is uh, you, you could get yeah you, you could get one one lender to pay you $500 a month without doing any business yet yeah but on the uh on the monthly implementation page if you scroll down you'll see a section where it says zero cost your expenses help promote sponsors uh your sponsors for a fee you can actually download the sponsorship agreement. And these are all a bunch of different ideas of what you could do to include these local businesses in your marketing, like giving them an endorsement in your videos, yep. putting a banner out on your website or e-newsletter about them, uh, you know, invite them into your videos, make a Facebook post about them, you know, include a letter, a letter recommendation about them and some of your materials that go to your customers. Uh, just send a straight up email telling people to hire them to your list, you know, stuff like that. 
And like I said, there's a little bit less regulation with stuff when you're dealing with people that are off settlement service providers, which are these businesses that we're talking about, than like, you know, recommend like a mortgage or title company or something like that. Sure. So uh, the, I, the ways to include people in your marketing, I have these up here on the website for you to take a look at. All right. Yeah. So we took that sheet exactly and we deleted a few things that we didn't want to offer. Uh, but our offer was, is still really strong. And when people are responding to it, again, as you said, if I'm changing their life by getting, this, you know, getting their life back and letting them spend more time with their children because they're coming to my mastermind and I, I'm helping them with things that they just don't know about, they'll be paying me 250 or 500 a month every month forever if I continue to drive that kind of value. Absolutely. So basically the third step of the, of the project is essentially you uh, – you know, you give your sales presentation is if you give me some money and we talk about how much to ask for depending upon the business and other, other amounts to come up with what your ask is. Cause every business might be a different amount that you charge. Okay. But, um, you take the credit card and you bill it every month. And that's that's that. it. Yep. So, um, erroneously you, this is not about them buying leads from you. We have to be very clear that you do not want your business sponsor project just about people giving you money and you sending them leads. It's part of it, maybe a quarter of it. Uh, the rest of it is, uh, well, tell me, tell me the answer to that, Matt. What's, what's the real value here of why someone keeps paying that money? What's the glue that holds this together beyond just uh, how much business have you sent me lately conversations when their money is charged every month? Yeah, it is that mastermind. And uh, most people aren't in touch with a group of other business owners. They don't have that peer group of people that are at playing at their level. Most people's friends are, are working a nine to five job. They don't own a business. So getting them in that environment with other business owners where they can start talking peer to peer about issues that they have and getting answers from people. I mean, it's really valuable uh, for every person that comes to that mastermind. That's the glue that holds it together. It's why they will continue to invest every single month. And yeah, they are my only vendors. So we have to send them some business and we are. Um, and, and my goal is to make sure that they get a two X return on it. Hopefully that's the case. If it's break even, I think they'll stay with it. Yeah. There's a, um, kind of the, the project here has been modeled off of, uh, an individual, Chris Waters. He's an agent in Austin and he, in three years went from zero to keeping net. I think anyone watching this understands between gross and net net after expense is a million bucks selling real estate with brokerage. He said, there'd be no way I'd be able to take the risk on all the lead generation, television, you know, radio, pay-per-click expenses to drive that number of leads to scale that quickly. If he didn't have some type of income to offset that, which he started with uh, this business sponsor project. And uh, currently, uh, from what he says, he gets about $25,000 a month. He's running on people's cards to be included in this mastermind and to participate in the marketing with them. You know, and certainly you can get your mortgage per company on board with that. You have to be very clear. It's not for a specific referral. It's for a full marketing services agreement. It's for the mastermind. It's for participating in the videos. There's lots of regulations with that. And we do go over those in the course. Um, but um, just from you taking the course, I mean, you went from, I mean, how much more money have you added to your monthly availability of funds to help with your marketing just from going through the course, Matt? Yeah, no, I, I told you, you guys made us 120000 a year. So uh, we went from 1500 a month when we started the course to uh, we're up to 12000 a month right now. And we still have, I just showed you the list, we still have another 10 vendors to add um, that we have seats available for. My goal is to be at 20000 a month by the end of the year. And that's a lot of money every single month to – yeah, it is. else bring to the bottom line so that I can do other things in the community and, and hit my financial yeah. goals, but really to grow the business, invest in more marketing, continue to get better leads, uh, more branding, more people. And then as our business grows, all the people that are, are contributing to us, their businesses grow as well. Yeah. I, I want that number. That number is going to shock a lot of people because they're like, my gosh, if I could just get $200 or $300 a month or, $500 a month or even new clients that come into viral. I say, look, man, you can find someone to help pay the 550 a month by including them in your videos. Like, oh no, nobody will pay that. And they hear right. the number that you're throwing out. Yeah. Well, I, I had the same mindset. I told you, I mean, I was at 1500 a month, um, which was not nothing, but it, 
compared to where we are after taking this course for what was it three months yeah four about four in, in four months we made an extra ten thousand a month just by asking if, at least obviously following the format that you created which was genius thank you genius uh, yeah absolutely hey man i didn't create it i didn't i didn't go implement this until i took the course but no it's it's simple it's really simple and there are there are vendors that are just waiting to pay you money too um, there are vendors that will line up to pay you money and it's um, going after them saying the right thing and offering value and, and i think that, that if you don't have the confidence to do that right now through the course you will um so here's the deal. I mean, you sell a good number of houses, but I, we, I have to be extremely clear here. This is, this is not like a pay for play where everyone's just giving you money because, oh, you know, you sell houses. There's, there's more to this here that someone who's just starting off. Well, let, me, let me rephrase the question. Knowing what you know now, why didn't you do this back when you first started selling real estate to help finance all the risk it took you to get to the point where you are? I wasn't as smart as Chris Waters. But could anyone do it? Could your agents do it? Oh, dude, I, I wish, man. It took me it took me ten years, or it took him three years to do the same uh, same type of production. And it's because he, I had all the people throwing in money every single month so that he could grow his marketing. Uh, and and I just wasn't smart enough to to see it that way. So, yeah, absolutely, you could do it from from just selling a few homes a year. And and what Chris said in the course was. If you got a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm and you sell people on the vision of where you're going, uh, they'll believe in your confidence and your certainty and they'll invest in you. And then as you start to get better, they see that their investment paid off. What about someone who's new to the business? Let's assume they've successfully sold a couple of houses. Yeah. Which means they have some real marketing and sales skills and chances are they've gone through some pretty good training about time blocking your time and how to, how many times to follow up on a lead and script and role play and basic sales skills, which is completely lacking in like literally other, other business and industry. Just so you know, you know, if you're a real estate professional and you're charging a commission, people are literally paying you for sales and marketing services. Right. That's what you're offering. Right. That's, so that's I, think, I think anyone that has successfully sold a couple homes has some real value to add or else no one would have paid you a commission for your sales and marketing skills. Yeah. Right. So what do you say to someone that is just absolutely, you know, petrified and terrified of having other business owners in this lunch and feeling like they'll be uh, feel like they're an idiot or I don't know what I'm talking about or being called as a fraud and all those limiting beliefs of like to be able to lead a, um, a mastermind. How, how would, what would you say to that person? Yeah, I think, I think authentic connection would be what I would focus on, you know, and invite people to lunch and then just, and then just care deeply about them as people. Don't be so caught up in yourself and will I look cool or will I look smart? You know, put the focus on, on these people as who they are as people and just say and, and think, I'm going to connect with the people on a, on a one-to-one -one basis and I'm going to ask two great questions. One, what are you great at? And then two, what's your biggest challenge? And then the whole group is going to brainstorm answers. You don't have to be the wizard who has all the answers. The group is going to provide that. So. I don't think that I don't think you have to have fear if you're going into it. Just look, focusing on connection and asking those two questions. And I honestly, truly believe and know that if you've successfully sold a home and someone's paid you a commission for your marketing and sales advice and guidance and consulting, you're qualified to start a business mastermind. There's no doubt about it. There you go. Yeah, for sure. It's true. I think uh, you know when are you, when sh when are you able to run a coaching and training business to hire other agents when you sell more than nine houses? Because now you're better than what? The majority of agents? You can start yeah. training other people. Right, 90%. So you're one of the top 10%. Yeah. Time to start training. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's funny, I'll, I'll work with agents that are selling hundreds of homes. And they still feel like they're not good enough to train other agents for whatever reason. I think with the recruiting project that we have as well as the business sponsor project, a lot of those limiting beliefs have to be challenged that you really can step up and lead business owners in this project. And even in the other project that we had that helps you with recruiting, you could lead agents. So yeah, yes, man, you're getting on a deep level right now. Well, it's true. Well, you when did. I tell you when I tell you what these courses like, the very first class, and yeah. then it shows up, I'm like, you guys have all enrolled in a personal development course in disguise. Right. <laughs> hey, man, I, I like it. I like it is. It. I, hey, man, I'm I'm a big Tony Robbins guy, and I I firmly believe that 80 percent of my success is my psychology. Okay. 
Um, people need to do this. I mean, this is a great way to go with local businesses. Let me, let me add one more question to you hear your insight. There's lots of talk, whether it's true or not, whatever. You have discounters, you have disruptors. Everyone's trying to get into real estate and take the agent's commission. And I think a, uh, the hedge against that as has been taught is, is the database is people you have a relationship with where there's no one in toll position sending you lead and there's no one that's like referring the business to you. Like you're able to, you know, build a, your own brand and relationship with the market, uh, such as staying in touch with past clients, centers of influence, building referral programs with business owners. Besides just raising money, how, how do you plan on uh, maybe securing listing and buyer business from your business owner mastermind as a way of generating leads for actual listings? Have you Come thought on, about that man. at all? If, if I hang out with them every single month at lunch, who else are they gonna be sending all their business to? They're, they're not hanging out with other realtors on a monthly basis, one-on-one -on -one at lunch. So um, they are on my database, they are receiving my viral videos, they are talking to my sales team at the sales trainings. I'm shooting viral videos with them and sending it to their database and my database. It's just a tremendous amount of value. If they're not sending me referrals, I'm doing something majorly wrong. One of the things I wanna share here, um, is if you ever want to break into luxury, one of our clients, Mike Lafito, is a um, teaches how to have a luxury side of your business. And um, of all the things that he does, I'll give you a little synopsis of his message. The number one lead source to get listings in luxury that they actually close and get paid and everything works out is his monthly business owner mastermind. And what he did is he went to a high end interior designer. You went to a luxury stager, luxury car rental place where you rent these amazing, like sweet luxury cars, uh, luxury clothing stores, you know, the super high end home theater installers. And he invited them to get together once a month, just like what you were doing. Um, but what he does too, and this is interesting, is um, instead of a restaurant, he actually um, holds it at a super awesome high end vacant home for sale. And that's where he holds his event. So this whole idea of getting business owners together, if you're aligned with that, if you like the idea of uh, having some B2B conversations, if you like the idea of meeting once a month with local business owners, and you believe that you can help facilitate a discussion, this isn't a time for you to teach, but you can facilitate, hey, here's what people are good at, here's a challenge they have, and you can kind of get them to talk to each other, right? And then, you know, if you're a viral client or you're doing marketing, maybe you start offering them some of the options I showed you on that sponsor sheet that's up on our website of how can you include them in some of your marketing that you do to your database in some respectful way, you know, we can craft a presentation where you can ask them for money. And yes, you have ultimately have to ask them, but you have to feel like you're bringing so much value and you'll feel that from the mastermind of how you, one little idea can change someone's life, just like the assistant here that Matt shared. You'll be much more confident at that point to be able to ask for some money. What are your thoughts, Matt? Just do it. <laughs> Sign up for the program. Just follow the program, start asking for money. I mean, wh why not? That's my, that's my point, why not? So that's the, cor that's the course that we put together. So if you're interested in this, this is, this is a little add-on to our core service. Um, you can do it standalone if you want, or if you're not like a core client, that's fine. But um, the whole idea is in a period of, um, as of right now, four months, uh, we meet every week in a small group of about eight people on a Zoom meeting, actually how we're recording this right now. Uh, and we all talk, uh, there's a lesson every single week to slowly, but brick by brick, build this program because you know you have a job to do you don't have full-time focus on this but every week there's a small assignment or slowly but surely you start building your mastermind that's kind of act one of the story of getting business owners to your monthly event act two of the story is how do you get them to participate for free no charge let's work together outside the mastermind to do some marketing together and the third act of the closing of the story is would you like to pitch in to my marketing uh, funds so I can go get more exposure and that can benefit you in many ways if you help me with that. And that includes the mastermind and participating in the marketing with me. So check that out. Matt, thanks for letting me interview. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for helping me blow this thing up. All right, guys. We'll see you later.